Okay. While you're working, can you tell us what type yeah. of tree this okay. is and the reason why this planting is being done? It's a maho tree. It's made uh, specifically for the conditions and the, uh, being so close to the ocean. Um, and it'll help uh, a couple of things. First, it'll help with uh, climate sink, with reducing the amount of carbon, as well as erosion, because erosion is a big problem coming from, from the land side. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating a climate dot, which means that uh, we're going to be later on today showing a dot that everybody will be holding, saying the increased amounts of storms, um, talking about uh, uh, the, uh, the change in temperatures, extreme extreme weather events because due to climate change. Stay tuned, I'll give you more information about uh, 350.org, which is, this is Climate Impact Day. It's a worldwide event. We're going to be uh, posting our pictures online. Um, so what we're, what we're doing today with the rest of the world, uh, spotlighting the, uh, the focus we have on climate change. Hi, Ty, today. So, picture this that they want to take this, they want to take out, um, take out this knee wall, make this huge marina for 87 slips. Okay. And what we don't have qualms about is his subdivision is up there calling for about 50 home lots, and we have no qualms mm -hmm. with that. It's zoned for that, go for it. You know, half acre, houses on half acres are better, and that's fine. What we do have qualms for about is the picture of all of this with the background here of three-story condominiums, lining marina, bars, restaurants, a fuel dock. I mean, huge development. Don't forget the sewer. And a sewer treatment plant. Can you imagine? I mean, all of these, you should see how rich it is. Carl will tell, well, you can see now, look at the fish jumping. I mean, when they start dredging, they will effectively kill the salt pond um, because you can't you can't dredge without closing off the channel. So they're going to close off the channel and dredge. So it'll effectively kill. I can see in knee deep in water here, and with more eels, with um, eagle rays, eagle hurting. rays, amazing. Oh so, so that's what the friends of Mandel got a lot more organized. Um, probably about five years ago to um, fight the application and say, this is a government land lease, by the way, he doesn't own this because you can't own the water. And, and so this is a government land lease that he wants to develop. It will end the cycle, we fear. He just got breakfast. <laughs> He's got it in his mouth. Yeah. We have uh, some more of the soil over there. There is a little bit. Yeah, it is a little bit. Put it inside. Hey, you can just dip the bag. I want to. Do it. Don't put all of them. A little more on this side. The they didn't put no fertilizer or soil. And so it holds, it retains all of the soil and sand and all of that. So it doesn't end up in the ocean, smothering the reef.
All right. Tired, a lot of garbage. Sorry, a lot of guys to my second full bag. Uh -huh. Plus I've got a big engine part over there too. Mm -hmm. Some interesting. Your things. second full bag, basically with um they're extending the recycling by reusing these same plastic bags. Absolutely. So the dumpster that the bags Absolutely. get emptied into? Yes. So okay. Like, and so then you walk around and refill that same exactly, garbage bag again. Exactly. No more creation of more plastic. Don't come here for our damn like this. They come here for our environment and the culture. And the culture and the uh, environment support each other. So really, if you don't have culture and environment, our tourism product would fall apart. So Senator Bashinger had just finished connecting his dots. I connected my dots. And I'm looking at beautiful Mandal Bay. And I'm looking forward to seeing what can be done to keep Mandal Bay in a pristine situation. This is the world of climate change. This is what we will be seeing and currently experiencing. Climate change increases the likelihood of extreme weather events, just like smoking causes, uh, just like smoke increases the likelihood of being diagnosed with lung cancer. All weather events are, are uh, affected by climate change because of environments in which they occur, which is warmer and wetter than it used to be. And that was according to the Natural Resource Atmospheric Research Center. Uh, Venice, the former chief scientist of the Australian Institute of Marine Scientists, he said, the science is clear. Unless we change the way we live, the Earth's coral reefs will be utterly destroyed within our children's lifetimes. To connect the dots. Extreme weather events are becoming increasingly frequent and severe all over the planet. An estimated cost of natural disasters have risen over 25 billion in the 1980s to over 130 billion today. We're talking B billion. The evidence, the evidence in global warming has caused severe floods, droughts, storms, more violent and frequent storms. Once merely a prediction of climate models are now, are now a matter of observation. It's time we started connecting the dots. My hair might be broken yeah, right. you know, as a, as a with the sea archer the world. Being a good environmentalist on this day, May 5th, year 2012. Well, I'd like to thank each and every one of you coming today to hear about what our 5-5 our 2012 event. Um, as you can see, this is what we're trying to protect. What you're trying to protect all that you see.